Hello dear students and professionals. Today in this video I will guide and show you the software for the easy drawing and flowcharts and different kinds of assignments that professors or teachers gave in the class to students for the solution of different assignments. And this software is eDrawMax and I found this software it's a very very easy one and we can make uh, tons and tons of uh, flowcharts and different drawings, floor plans and electrical, mechanical, chemical drawings with different components and so 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 many things we can uh, draw in this software. So today in this lecture or in this video I am going to show you the basic introduction of this software eDrawMax and in the next video I will show you my work that I have done in this software till now from last 7 to 8 years maybe more than that from 2013. I am using this software and it is really helped me a lot. Okay, So this is a software this is eDrawMax and uh, this is the basic interf interface of this software. Uh, the version I am using is eDrawMax 9 and you can find also the version, uh, latest version of 10, 10.04 and so on. But I am having this software installed in my system. So you can check here. There are different types of diagrams that you can make in the software business card just like this you have the templates auto templates also available in the software cards chart these are the charts uh, we can make easily in the software different uh, styles pie line gauges bubble chart scatter we can also make the, uh, these charts in excel but in this software this is much 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 easy we have engineering diagrams just like industrial control circuit and logic electrical basic electrical diagrams floor plans flow charts this one is very important for the students perspective forms and you can check here there are industrial automation some Prepaid examples are also given here. Some templates you can use any template from here, or network diagrams for the networking of Cisco networks and any other basic networks. Some topologies we can draw all these things in this software. Organization charts, science diagrams for the uh, students of 10th class, A levels, O levels, uh, chemistry equations optics mechanics uh, laboratory equipment and so so thing so so many things we can draw in this software and uh, software diagrams wireframe so i am going to select this basic okay and all these arrows block diagrams pyramid charts and these i can select after this base blank drawing because i have the option to search these things in the software. So I am going to select the blank drawing first and after that I will show you how to uh, get these arrows block diagrams after select the blank drawing. So I have double clicked the blank diagram then after the right click you have ruler here ok guidelines and it's better to select this grid grid lines okay this one so now you have grid here so this is the basic interface of the home uh, the most most things you are going to use in the software is the text one this text tool this connector tool this line tool this rectangle and oval tool so these are the most basic things that you have to use for the selection of the components and to connect in to interconnect the different components to select the different components just like this is what we have 
a simple rectangle okay i can change the properties of this rectangle block after selecting this block okay i have selected this block now what i can do he here is this is no fill so now there is no fill in this color if i want to select the solid color then you can check this this is a solid fill here okay and i will i can change this color from here okay this one i can change all the color if i am selecting the no fill then there is no color inside okay now the second part here i can select the line color from here this is now black you can check here this is now black i can also increase the line width from this width option okay and line type so i can also change the line type from here and there are so so many things you can use by this software oh, okay now next is this is a, a text edit panel so when i select the text from here intro duction so after that i can change the settings of this text okay so next tab is the insert one you can insert any type of picture orientation page orientation page size okay this is the auto size what we have here already in the view options we can change the view of the diagram or this panel front panel and the symbols in this in the symbols there are so many uh, different symbols that i can use uh, for the drawing of the picture just like line so this is a line this is the arc this is a spiral rectangle round oval polygon and this is star so these are the symbols that i can use here in this software and these are the different anchor for the uh, connections of different um, what i said just like line okay i am going to show you how to uh, use all these options first what i have to press the escape button or this one because i have to come to this select option so in symbols when i select this one i can also add some anchor here just like this one here in on this point and now i can move i can move this point to up down right left according to my choice how okay just like this one when i selected this one add okay now i have anchor now i want to move this select this just like this one so i can move this line of uh, the point of this line where i need okay so this one is you like if you want to move upward and downward so we can easily change the orientation of the line after using or selecting move anchor okay just like this one here what i can do you can see easily in this line or, or in this point is like this one okay i can also delete 
this point okay i can also delete the the anchor point from selecting this and add point from selecting this okay so this is a very very important tool if i want to uh, draw some basic drawings but manual drawings okay i i'm going to show you how how i can convert this this uh, line into the spiral one just like when i want to move anchor so first put here now second point put here just like this one and i can move this one here just like this so it is a little difficult but i can draw what i want just like this one and now go ahead here okay and so i want to add one more anchor here okay now again move just like this one okay look by pressing control and i can zoom the overall drawing what i want to do so after clicking this i can move according to my choice and this one like this okay and what about the pencil tool i can select or write according to my choice with different anchors here okay now i can move all these according to my choice okay. and what about the pen tools pen tools is the connecting tools means if i select the, this point then again i am clicking here and it is not going to leave okay i am connecting this one and it is not going to leave until i will be reconnect the first point okay so now you can see how this uh, pen tool worked here so pen tool is a very important tool just like if i want to draw this line here so uh, what i i have to draw the rectangle is just select here then again go here and this and again this one so this is my rectangle okay so this is a rectangle i can change the size of the rectangle so this is a basic introduction of the software and it this software is really very easy and uh, user friendly for the students especially because uh, i am a teacher and i also uh, teach students according to the requirement and when i need assignments or uh, some kind of paper publications or research publications so i need uh, different kinds of pictures flow charts diagrams block diagrams so what i do or i teach in my class is to teach all these students how to draw these kind of pictures or uh, drawings and it's very easy all students and my colleagues said that it's a very easy one and no need to uh, uh, no need for special training of the software okay so in the next video i will show you my work what i have done in the software till now so thank you for this video